Well, good morning. It is a Wednesday morning, and you are on with Big J, and you know what time it is. Let's talk. This morning, I want to continue my conversation on the Lakers. And what's really interesting, I was just reading the article, and um, and I want to quote what Nick Young was saying in the article. Um, being a former Laker player, Nick Young said this. He said, it's time for management to blow that roster up. There's too many inconsistencies that are not pleasing the king, that being LeBron James. Um, and as we know from the past with Cleveland and Miami, when the team is not conducive to LeBron's play, I, I think I don't know if he gets agitated, frustrated, or irritated, but something happens. There is a change or a different manifestation of his behavior and his character. You, we have to realize this. There are some individuals in life who are very competitive and don't like to lose. And I believe LeBron is one of those individuals to where last night he just walked off. Because when you've been given a package, well, here's, here's my issue. LeBron James is responsible for getting rid of and bringing in players. I think when that's the key and that's the core, he must be responsible for that himself. And when things don't go right, I don't think you turn and walk away. I think you stand up because you are the one that makes the decisions as far as instructing management what you need around you. And what you needed around you within, when it does not supply the efforts that you feel are necessary, you can't just walk away from the team. I, I just, Me personally, I, don't, I just don't think that's good. you know. But I, I do agree with Nick Young. It's time for the Lakers to blow up the team. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. That roster is just horrible. You saw it last night. Guys couldn't even hit a shot. Three-pointers wouldn't fall down. There was no competitiveness at all. So if we really look at this, is it only LeBron and AD who are holding down the ship? Passive Anthony Davis? Is Are those the only two? Because I, I, I when I looked at it last night, it was just horrible. Down 30 points by halftime. I'm a Lakers fan and love the Lakers. Going all the way back to, uh, I, can, I can't even go all the way far back. I don't know how far. But I'm a Lakers fan forever, all right? Been in the Lakers clubhouse, know all about that. Um, but what, I'm, what am I saying? LeBron needed to figure out his team and what he's going to do to lead his team to another championship. If not, then last year that championship in the bubble was fake and not real. Am I saying that because they just got blown out by Phoenix? No. I'm saying because it was no level playing field. And because they had big bodies, they were able to compete and win. But watch this. The Suns have no bodies. They have little, um, the Lakers have big bodies, and the Suns have little bodies. There's no way right now that we should see the games the way they are. That's just my opinion. There's no way. And I believe when that happens is because something is going on in the mindset of the superstars. So I just think LeBron, named, LeBron James needs to back up, rethink the situation, have a meeting with his team. I remember when... I'm going to segue a little bit. I remember when the Lakers were going through all this drama and about to get rid of all their young players, their young stars, and the young players were just, they were going through a whole lot because they had never been through that before. And LeBron James took the high road, never really paid attention to them. You know, in other words, if you want to be here, you're going to be here. If not, you won't. You know, but I remember Ray John Rondo on the game headed to Boston. He diverted and took the team instead of going to the hotel he took them to one of the gymnasiums that he's familiar with. And not only did he work them out, he mentored them. He talked to them. Do you know they, they came back and blew Boston out? So sometimes, King, you have to get away from your own perception and your own understanding and write a narrative that fits the team. See, because there's no I in team. I don't care what you do. You cannot win a championship by yourself. And what does the acronyms team stand for? Together, everyone achieves more. There's no independence on the basketball court. Ask Kobe Bryant. He learned that. That's why he brought in Paul Gasol. So we got to bring in Metal World Peace. So I do agree with Nick Young. Something is not working because it's not fitting LeBron James's narrative to be successful or to have another championship. But what you see is Chris Paul and you see my man Devin Booker stepping up. And like I told you before, they're hungry. They're desperate. They're coming out the gate scoring. Why? Because we've been close to the mountain, but we have not gotten there yet. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to make it relative every game. Chris Paul, even though I'm hurt, I'm going to make it relative. Devin Booker, I'm going to knock down three so like it's raining. Everyone on the team is having a positive flow based on positive energy. All right, so I want to say thank you to those, again, who have subscribed to our channel. You are amazing. Those who have not subscribed, if you would like to or care to, now would be a great time to hit that red button right below. All right, then after you hit that red button, go over to your right and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload new content. Then after you do that, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button and then leave a comment. Whether you agree or disagree, we want to hear your comments because you are not a liability, you're an asset, and we do appreciate you so much. All right, so we're going to ask you to have an amazing day. Be blessed. Today, see if you can hear the birds chirping. Today seems to be an amazing day. Go out there. Make something happen. Be the best, and the best you will become. Take no wooden quarters or no wooden nickels. No matter what anyone else does to you, Find your will and ability through what you know how to do and make it successful. Have a great day.